What's going on, my friends? This is Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. If you guys want to know how to go from zero to 90,000 followers in 45 days, you might want to tune in, lean in, and listen up, because this episode, we're going to be having a gentleman by the name of Nathan Earl coming on, and we're going to be uh, we're going to be twisting his arm to get him to reveal all of his secrets. Uh, listen, if you guys are uh, just coming in and uh, are, are starting the challenge, lean into that and really commit. Uh, if you have an opportunity to go through and uh, invest in yourself and uh, go through our blueprints, even join our mastermind. Uh, we just got done with a phenomenal virtual mastermind this last weekend. And there's just not a more powerful, integrity-driven and based in actual real strategies, not just hype and fluff, community and platform than legendary. And it's not because of me. It's because of all the incredible people that are here. So if you're here, congratulations. You found the right place at the right time with the right people. Put on your seatbelt and get ready to do the work so you can get the results. All right, let's bring in that dude, Nathan Earl. What's up, my man? What up, what up, what up? Not much, man. Uh, we are uh, thrilled to talk to you and uh, learn from you today. You are crushing it, blowing it up. Uh, <laughs> everything that you touch, whether it be YouTube, TikTok, uh, obviously the headline says zero to 90. Sounds like kind of a, like a song, zero to 90 in 45 days. Yeah, and we, uh, we scheduled that, what, three weeks ago? So now you're, uh, yeah, I know, totally. I don't know why. I didn't that. Yeah, you're up. To, <laughs> yeah, you're up to one hundred thirty-five thousand now. But still, the headline is 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 uh, real and truthful. And uh, zero to ninety, you did that in forty-five days. How old is yeah. your is your TikTok channel? So I started my TikTok channel uh, late September. Didn't post anything, and then like at the end of September, I posted like one video, and then waited until November posted a few more videos. And then uh, basically once I started seeing like the virality of one video within like three videos. So it was like a week into it uh, from September, basically late September. Uh, I saw that there was some potential and just took it full time. And here we are just like two and a half, three months later. So showing up so, well, for four months now, but yeah. Dude, should I change my lighting to look more gangster like yours? Because <laughs> I kind of feel like you look like a badass and I kind of look like I'm under a, like on a, on a, on a, on a surgery table about like have dental surgery or something. How do you get that looking like that? So a lot of people ask me that actually, that's probably my number one question. People ask me is like, Oh great. I'm lumped into everybody else now. Right. Right. Um, Dude, because obviously we think you look cool. So, so here's my secret. Ready for it? Yes. It's like, $93 $93 panels from Amazon with two LED spotlights that I can control from my phone up there. Okay, so you put the so the spotlights are actually pointing down on the 3D panels. Like these these are just you get they're just textured 3D panels. Yeah. So, yeah, and then I just have the spotlight up pointing down at the top of it to give the top edge that color and then with the two of them with the mixture fades colors. It's pretty cool. But, so, but so I I don't have I have this old barn wood behind me so could i get a similar effect if i change my lighting uh potentially you could the might the wood might like absorb the color a little bit but uh one of the best things you can do is like just mess with the adjustments on your camera so like if you use leds so what i do is i like drop like the exposure or whatever down a bit and then increase the contrast and doing that will make the colors pop up a bit so if you actually mess with the contrast that red behind you and stuff might actually pop up quite a bit more so I'm I'm just on my regular I'm just on my uh, regular uh, you know iMac. It's a new iMac, so I'm it, it's okay. got a good camera. I think. But where are those settings even at? On iMac, I'm a Windows guy. So besides oh, my man. iPad, besides my iPad, I have a yeah I have a custom built PC that I I use. So. Oh my gosh! Yep, yep. Uh, Matt, do you know where they're at on a, on an iMac? No clue. (laughs) Unbelievable. The voice of God. Unbelievable. Right? This is unbelievable. You know, I'm trying to look cool, but it's not working. Um, So, yeah, about about 200 bucks, and uh, you can have the same background besides the the, uh, lighting on panels on the side. So, yeah. 
Well, dude, um, you know, I guess I'll just be, I'll just be me, you know, and that's, just be you. That's what it's about. So the biggest thing is like, don't try to copy people. Like I did this cause it's fun and it pops up for content creation. Well, for people watching people are going to be like, Oh, he's grown because he's got like all these cool visuals and like everything pops out. Um, the people that I learned from the people that I studied to like do all this TikTok stuff. They, they don't have like some of them have white backgrounds. Like, dude, I'm the most simple guy online. You know, right. like I just wear the same thing literally every day. And yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like I just I'll go live on my on my laptop and Matt will be like, dude, your camera looks like shit. And I'll be like, right. <laughs> and then I just yeah. keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have like two sweaters that I have up in my office, like up in my two-story house, because it gets cold up here, right? It's winter. Sometimes it'll get cold. So most yeah. of my content, I'm wearing either a black sweater or that gray sweater, and everybody's like, yeah. why do you always wear the same thing? I'm like, it's, it's easy. <laughs> it's right there. I can just grab it, put it on if I'm cold, drink on. Dude, I used to out. care a lot more how I looked, man. Like I would be like, all right, with the outfits and stuff, and yeah. then I just realized I was like, like this – I just, if I wear the same thing every day, then I'm just consistent. You know what I mean? And I, plus yeah. that's what I want to do. I got sweatpants on right now. I've got socks and Birkenstocks. I mean, yeah. I am really that guy. There you go. Um, so, all right. Uh, so let's talk about, um, first of all, thank you for your service. You were in yeah. the Air Force and you broke your back. Yeah. So I started... Wow. Uh, in the Air Force, man, what year was that? That was, uh, I want to say it was 2013 or 14, 2014. I went into, I went into the Air Force um, as, a, as a C-17 loadmaster. So what that is, is I was the guy in charge of doing the math for the cargo, making sure when the jet takes off, it doesn't crash, uh, and in charge of the loading crews. So when we would land, you know, Afghanistan, wherever the crews that came up to the back of the jets that you see in like movies and they're like loading the jet or unloading the jet. I was the guy in charge of that crew. Right. Well, we were flying into San Diego and I went down from the cockpit. I was hanging upstairs with the pilots and we we're coming into San Diego. I went downstairs to check the cargo, slipped off the top step, free fell about eight feet and landed on my, my back on the steel lip of the bottom step and just Holy done. Shit. So being the military and their wonderful medical procedures, they, uh, instead of putting me directly into surgery like I needed, they put me through physical therapy for a year with three fractured vertebrae and three ruptured discs. So um, after a year of physical therapy on top of that, oh, hey, guess what? I have severe uh, arthritis, nerve damage, and all kinds of different problems in my back. So then I ended up getting surgery and then they medically retired me. So, hmm. but thankfully I was learning all of this stuff, web design, video editing, affiliate marketing. I've been studying this stuff for about nine years. So and once they told me when that happened, when, how long had you been? <laughs> that studying? Was, oh, how long have I been studying that stuff? Well, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to just understand the timeline Were you were, how long ago did the, did the accident happen? That accident happened in 2017, and then I was uh, discharged, medically discharged in 2018. So, so you had already been, you know, working on your on your marketing skill sets, I guess, for lack of better terms, for about seven years when that happened. Yeah. So at that point, it had been about seven years, and I was actually just starting to get results and like doing all that stuff uh, three years in. So I failed like hard for three years, you know, shiny object syndrome, uh, getting distracted, all this different stuff. Didn't know. Uh, you don't know what you don't know. So I didn't know what kind of work I needed to put in. I was building really cool websites and then found out, Oh, Hey, you can build an awesome website with a really cool email sequence. But if you're not getting traffic, uh, you're not going anywhere. So that was my big issue was stuck, uh, struggling with traffic for years. And then, so after those three years, I started getting some results, but wasn't really doing anything huge. You know, like if I landed in Germany, one of my favorite things in the uh, military, uh, if I landed somewhere and I had uh, Wi-Fi on my laptop, I'd bust that out. And instead of going out and partying like all the time with the rest of the crew, I'd get up and start doing like affiliate marketing or web design, you know, like messing around. And my goal was to try to replace my income while I was on the road flying. So, and that, that, I think because of that, when I broke my back, my head was already in the right spot. Like, Hey, I need to replace my income. Um, mm -hmm. but if I, if I wasn't on that track and I wasn't thinking like, Hey, how can I replace my income? When I broke my back, I, I probably wouldn't be here today. 
like yeah. just because of the amount of struggle I'd be going through. So, oh, bro, I can't imagine like if you had that injury and then no income and I yeah. Mean, but yeah. well, it's like the biggest thing is like, what are you gonna do? You know? Right. Right. So, right. Yeah. What are you gonna do just with purpose? What are you gonna do with yourself? Right. Like no yeah. purpose or no. I get it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So, um, it, like we get the backstory and we, and I, and I, I appreciate you pointing out the fact that there was three years of, of really hardcore struggle, like no money, like yeah. tumbleweeds, no money, maybe a co commission here or there, but like nothing that was major. Right. Yeah. Um, it, it, if I'm not accurate, but it, that's what it sounded like. Yeah, no, zero dollars for three okay, years. Zero. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Zero. Okay, zero. It was, it was hard. Zero. It was okay, hard. so all of you guys who are like, oh, you know, uh, why, why am I not a a, a gazillionaire after ninety days? Uh, here you go. So it's it's normal to to have a learning curve. Uh, it doesn't have to take three years. Uh, one of the one of the reasons why we exist because. I have internet marketing skills and, and marketing skills that I can go and uh, basically market any product or service that I want. And we still have, as a matter of fact, I have a pile of affiliate checks sitting on my desk <laughs> right now from various different things over the, the, the last little while. And, you know, it's not just, you know, it, it, I do this because, and we do this here at Legendary because uh, there's not a whole lot, if any, really solid platforms that teach affiliate marketing simply and with integrity. There's a lot of BS out there. And so we have fun teaching this stuff and, and we help a lot of people get results. Um, so I say all that not to just do a humble brag, even though I just did. Um, it's that it doesn't have to take three years. You can begin to get momentum and you can begin to get results faster than that. What, what, what do you think after being in the game for nine years, what do you think about legendary now that you found legendary and you're a part of our community, you're learning from us. Now we get a chance to also learn from you. What do you think about what we're doing here and uh, people's ability to be able to to get these skills in this environment? Yeah. So I'll be 100% honest. When I first saw you guys like three years ago, I was like, nope, I'm avoiding that because that's like <laughs> I was all about the uh, the software. So I was actually successful with software long before I ever promoted any courses or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I would create PDFs and like little videos and stuff like that going to Warrior Forms. I'm sure you're familiar with Warrior Forms. Um, I'd go on there and look for people who were just asking how to set up websites for their business and stuff like that. And I'd send them this PDF with like Bluehost links and walkthroughs and all that stuff. So that's how I, I was the grinder. Like I grinded every single day for every sale I ever made. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so when I saw legendary marketer like, oh, hey, here's this community, set this whole thing up, just get them in. You know, it, it's the it's the mindset where you think, oh, it's a community sales thing. It's MLM. You know, I'm kind of like not really into that. Um, but yeah, so I actually first learned from you back in your FN days. Um, yeah, we're not going to talk about that, but that's actually you are the reason I got my first sale back in the day was I watched a couple of your videos back then. I was like, hey, this guy actually knows what's up. So when I heard of Legendary, I was kind of iffy, but then I heard, oh, hey, David Sharp's on that. Like, that's his thing. That's when I actually started looking into it seriously. And then uh, Spencer Meekum, the uh, uh, super affiliate for ClickFunnels, uh, he was like, Hey, you should actually look into this stuff. You know, I'm doing some research on it. So we both kind of started looking into it. Um, so I, I got into, uh, like the 15 day challenge and stuff like that back then started going through it, kind of applied it a little bit more to some stuff. Um, things started working out a little bit better. And then just two months ago is when I was like, Hey, let's actually promote this. And that's when I actually started creating content specifically for legendary because I went through it. I took the time to learn from it. I applied the teachings and I saw, Hey, this is really valuable. The community is awesome. Like some of my best friends are from this community now. So yeah, it's just, um, I guess it shouldn't take people that long, <laughs> but I think it's one of the best systems people can get into and the way it's laid out with the education and the community and people like us that are just willing to just jump in and help people uh, there's, you don't have to wait three years to make a dollar like that, that, that was just because I was stubborn and I avoided like make money communities. Right. So don't be that guy. But yeah, yeah, this is, this is literally one of the best communities on the internet that you could find to do this stuff. And I yeah, appreciate man. that. So thank you. 
Well, thank you. <laughs> and sure. thanks for being willing to be a part of the community, right? Because I mean, it is a community because there's people like you who <laughs> are willing to come on and share your advice and sort of do open heart surgery on your business and let everybody kind of learn from you and learn what yeah. you're doing. So let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's talk about a topic that you're really excited to talk about, which is kind of what you've been doing over the past 90, 120 days or so to, to absolutely blow up your TikTok channel. It's benefiting your YouTube channel. Um, yeah. And that's awesome. Uh, so, l dude, let us learn from you. T talk us through. I'll, I'm going to show your TikTok channel so I can share my screen. Talk us through your learning curve of how you have, uh, you know, figured this kind of this this TikTok game out. Why even like a platform like TikTok is really exciting right now um, mm -hmm. versus kind of the way that we used to do things. Which oh was man! Very <laughs> why, why don't you start yeah. there and then yeah. we'll go into the mechanics? Okay. Okay, so uh, my journey with TikTok actually started again. I'm gonna I'm gonna quote uh, some Spencer Meekum, right? So obviously, I'm working with him. He started a, a TikTok channel and did a couple videos, and his fifth video in went super viral, right? And I was like, hey man, that's pretty cool. And then all of a sudden, his YouTube uh, traffic started spiking because he started like promoting his YouTube a little bit, like put it in the links and whatnot. And uh, so he's like dude, you know what you're talking about. You know what you're doing online. Like, you know, web design, you know, video editing, you know, content creation, you know, you should get on there and start talking about some stuff and just teach something. And I was like, well, I guess I could, but it's TikTok, you know, it's for kids, right? Like it's, it's teenagers, like, right. Cause he's like convincing you that you should use like some of these general skills that you have yeah. or, or specialized yeah. skills about video marketing and stuff. And you should actually get on and kind of do affiliate marketing on this platform. Yeah. So uh, anyways, I got on there and I, I created my first video and that's why I waited a little bit. And he was just like, dude, make more videos. And I was like, I'll tell you what, when I hit a thousand followers and I unlock my lives, right? So you can go live because I was just using the content creator account and we'll talk about why you should just use a creator account. All right. So I told him when I hit a thousand followers, I'll take it seriously. Right. And he's like, okay, well, until you take it seriously, try to do it like at least one video a day, just, just do something, you know? And he was, he was really encouraging, like, just, just get content going and you'll see it works. All right. So, uh, I created a few more videos and within like a week and a half, I hit my thousand followers. And so he's like, so you can take it seriously. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, I might as well now. So when I hit my thousand followers, um, I bought the, the TikTok training from you and I went through that training and I'll, uh, uh, Basically, the concepts that were taught in there, I didn't succeed from necessarily just those concepts. And, and the biggest thing, so one of the things I want to teach people in this is you can't take a course and expect to skim the content, write down some ideas and succeed. You need to dig in and you need to innovate and you need to understand why does that gear turn right versus left? See what I mean? So when you're looking at when you're looking at mechanics of a system, you got to understand like the little pieces. And so when your machine's not working, right? If you have two gears fighting each other, what can you do to fix that? Right? So what I did is I took the course to get the, the, uh, the knowledge started essentially. And then I wrote down like Matt Steinman and Jordan Montoya and like all these different guys, uh, Jake Thornhill. I wrote down all these guys names, their, their, uh, TikTok profiles. And I started looking at all the profiles, that they have set up. I'll start looking at all the profiles that they followed. And I started studying every single piece of content that I possibly could like for the, for the first two weeks. I mean, like I just had like notes and notes and notes and notes filled out on notebooks. Right. And then I started realizing, okay, it's not, it's not necessarily the content you put out. It's, it's watch time is the number one biggest thing. You have to have something that's watchable. All right. And then the second biggest thing is, getting people to watch. So if you have watch time is the number one biggest factor on going viral, getting more views, getting more likes, right? If that's the biggest thing, how do you get that to happen? Well, if you can't get them to actually sit and watch, then there's a problem. So in the make money online niche, a lot of people are doing this whole like, oh, hey, here's how you make money doing this. Here's how you make money doing that, uh, doing the side hustle videos, right? And that's good. But a lot of people are they just copy word for word, but they don't understand why they're copying word for word on viral videos, which is fine. Cause TikTok, 
it's a trending platform, right? Like people copy what other people do and call it a trend. Okay. So if you're struggling with getting views or like traffic or anything like that, you can literally uh, recreate, don't copy word for word, but recreate, use the same sound, use the same concepts and strategy, uh, twist it a little bit. You know, if you can add anything to it, maybe use a different tool. Um, you can create content that goes viral like that. Like literally today, people watching this right now could get off and go do it. All right. Excuse me, I'm talking too fast. So uh, I ended up coming up with this strategy. It's kind of like lame, but I like it. It's cool. It's called hook, but it's for mm -hmm. content. So the hook ends with the C or is it a C, right? Yeah. So H obviously is the hook. Okay. You have to hook people to watch content, whether you're selling something or you're just putting up content or even a, in a YouTube video, your goal is to get people to stick through to the end. Okay. It's just get there. Just, Hey, this is what I want you to do. This is why you should stick around. Right. So a hook is obvious, just something that's a, a big claim or something really emotional, something that's like grabs people. Okay. So you got to have that hook. And then the O the first O in the make money online niche, if you're doing TikTok, is overcoming objections. So as soon as you say something like, hey, I'm gonna teach you how to make $200 a day, they're gonna have an objection and they're gonna go, bull crap, you can't do that, that's fake, that's a scam, right? Um, yeah, nobody does that, that's $6,000 a month, you know, that's, that's like six of my jobs, right? Whatever. Um, so people are gonna have objections. As soon as you say something like that in the make money online niche, people are gonna leave unless you overcome that objection right away. So one of the ones that you can watch like my TikTok if you pull it up, one of the biggest ones that I I break down is this doesn't cost anything to get started. Like I'm not promoting this, I don't get paid to do this. So there's, there's zero costs and zero risk because people, if they hear make money, they think, oh, I have to spend a bunch of money up front. But your goal, yeah. So your goal as a TikTok educator, we'll call it, right? isn't to necessarily sell anything, but get people to watch because your end goal with TikTok is the link tree. Like, so that link tree, your link, your profile link is to get people to click on that. All right. And I'll let you get caught up if you have any questions so far. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just following along with the hook. I, I want to make sure that we, we're we're clear on that and you have the room i don't have any questions so it's hooking somebody which is kind of catching their attention with a big claim or a promise that or or some sort of a question hey do you think it's possible to make 200 dollars a day online well in this video i'm going to show you how right and then the objection is well you're probably thinking that that's not possible. And I understood and I understand. I thought it was not possible when I first thought of the concept as well, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of validating the skepticism. And, and, and Nathan, yeah. one of the ways that I overcome objections is not really try to convince somebody that mm -hmm. the objection is not legitimate because a lot of times it's like arguing with somebody. It's like, mm -hmm. It's like if I'm arguing with you about something, kind of like politics, right? <laughs> and say you say you had an opposing view and you and I are just sitting there arguing, is all arguing does is it makes me believe in my viewpoint more. It reinforces what you already believe. Because exactly. I'm sitting here arguing and in, in trying to tell you why my, I'm right. So instead, you know, a, an easy way to overcome an objection is just to validate the person's objection. Like, oh, you, you're skeptical about this? I, I understand. You should be. I was too, but I'm going right. to show you how, right? So anyways, hook, overcoming the objection, and I, I think that's where we're at. I'm, I'm tracking though. Okay. So the hardest thing to do is to overcome an objection without eating up your entire video time, all right? So you have to validate and overcome within about three seconds. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're going to scroll. So you got you to gotta hook, overcome, and validate why they should stick around in three seconds and that's why so the biggest thing for our like objection overcoming what we do what we figured out is that if you do it by just saying like a few words right like there's no risk don't worry like hey you can check this out it's a free method okay it doesn't cost anything by doing that you're literally like it's it's like somebody has a problem with something and you're just putting a hand on their shoulder really quick and saying hey it's gonna be okay look right like hey just check it out right so what you're doing is you're not shoving it down their throat you're inviting them to hey just check it out right so at the 
so that's so that's the first O is overcoming objection, right? And then the next O is over deliver value. All right, so you just got to have as people are watching, you got to just like fill them up. Like if you if you're using a 15 second video, you got to pack those 15 seconds with like tools and stuff that like people can look at and then actually learn from. Like there's there's some amazing tools online that people don't know and they could use in their everyday life, right? Mm -hmm. So like photo P is like a, it's like a free Photoshop that's all web or, uh, or web browser based. You don't have to actually download software, right? So it's just little things like that. You can just pack in say, hey, I'm gonna teach you how to do something like this. Show some cool tools that anybody could use because now you're gonna get shares because people will be like, oh, hey, that's cool. I didn't know that that tool, that one thing that he just showed is usable in what I do, right? So even if they're not interested in what you're doing, if you provide enough value quickly, people will share it because you showed something that they like or that something that someone they know would like, right? And so that's kind of like the, a lot of people that I've been seeing that they're like, hey, can you help me? I'm struggling. I go through and look at their channel and they do this. They pull up their phone and they start the video and say, I'm gonna show you how to make $100 a day with affiliate marketing, right? And then they say, let's uh, talk about some theory and they talk about how affiliate marketing works, which is fine. And, and that's good because you should be creating that content. But then they say they blame that content on why they're not growing. Right. Mm. But if you're just a talking head explaining theory, the only people you're going to reach are the people who want that theory. Mm. But, but if you're showing tools and concepts and cool, cool ways, like, Hey, did you know you could use affiliate marketing to pay off your car? Right now people will be like, Oh, wait a minute. I want my car paid off. How can I apply affiliate marketing? Now I'll listen to affiliate marketing. Yeah. So all you, all you have to do is find a way to create value around what you're wanting to teach. So if there's a tool or a concept or a problem that somebody else has that you can fix or apply that value to or like add that concept to or whatever, now you're creating that extra value. Yeah. Right? So that's H-O-O -O and then C instead of K for hook. So the, the C is the call to action. Every single video you put out needs to have a call to action. You need to say like and follow or, hey, if you like this content, be sure to follow whatever, like this video. Okay, that that's your default is like and follow because that's going to, as you can see, your follows versus your my like ratio. So my like ratio and my follow ratio is super high. You'll see people with like millions of likes with less followers than me. Mm. Why would they have millions and millions of views and likes, but less followers than me? And I'm not saying I'm better than them in any way. Yeah. If, you, if you watch those kinds of channels, if you go through their content, the big difference is in the last second or two, I'll say, hey, like and follow really quick, just a little cut in, just like and follow. Yeah. And if people see that. And I mean, you know all about call to actions. If, if you ask for it, people are more likely to do it. So yeah. anyways, it's, it's like and follow or, hey, sub to my YouTube, which is in my bio, or hey, check out this link in my bio link. I think the challenge is, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to do, a, I'm just going to give everybody a visual here of kind of what you've just went over, like in a timeline sense. Yeah. So like, um, the, I think the challenge though, Nathan, is like that people, uh, you got to do all this in, in, in 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, so your first was, was the hook and that's really, um, kind of a two to three second thing, right? Yeah. I'd like, say, I'd say max four seconds. Okay. Max. Yeah. Max four seconds. Okay. And the reason I say max four seconds is because two to three seconds, people might end up doing five, not realizing they're actually doing five. Yeah. Yeah, right. for sure. And, and, and then we've got, um, and then we've got the, the, uh, the, the O, mm -hmm. which is, um, which is, uh, overcoming the objection. And that's really like, again, once again, max four seconds, right? Yeah, I'd say I, if you're doing a 15 second, so if you're doing a 15 second video, I will literally do that in one to two seconds. 
so you're so this is so a lot of these are even 15 second videos versus 60 second yeah. right so if you're going to try to create something that goes super viral and get sales i highly recommend you do a 60 second video so we'll we can do a 60 second format if that's what you want 15 seconds so 15 second videos can go viral and they can get you a lot of followers and they can do a lot for you and you should be using 15 second but the most of my results and success have been by getting a high watch time on 60 second videos. So most of your, most of your, uh, say that one more time. Most of my results are from high watch time on 60 second videos. I got you. I got you. So, so this is kind of a format though for the, um, for the, uh, the, um, the 15 second. Okay. So like, and follow is kind of like, uh, is kind of like a two second, two second call to action at the end, right? Yeah, yeah. And you, when you start getting into TikTok and start editing and like creating that content, you realize, like, <laughs> you start packing. Like, how much can I fit into one second? Like, yeah, it's crazy. But like, you you can be saying one thing and showing another thing, like pointing at your screen and trying to pack as much as you can in. And I think that's part of like the content creator mindset you have to get into a little bit. It's just how can I create something that flows, that's watchable, that also provides a lot of value. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, oh, wait, hold on a second. I'm doing the, I'm doing the, uh, I'm doing the 15 seconds. So really if yeah. you've got two, four, five, six, I mean, you need to be 10 to 12 seconds here in the middle. Yeah. Right. For the 15 second. Video. Yeah. So if you, so basically with the, the 15 seconds, I try to keep my, the, like the fluff, the, the, the body of the content to be nine to 10 seconds and then fit everything else around it. I got you. I yeah. got you. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, so I wanted to, I wanted to go back cause the like and follow is kind of a cool little template that, you know, or script, I guess, for lack of better terms, just for people to kind of, have uh in, in use let's let's do just a couple of examples of sort of a hook that somebody could actually 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 do in one to two seconds and then an example hook that somebody could do in in or excuse me an example overcoming the objections that somebody could do in one to two seconds if you can think of anything i mean i, I Whew, put me yeah. on the spot in the early morning no i know so um so it's like uh make $200 a day with affiliate marketing, make two, yeah. make $200 a day with affiliate marketing. We could be one to two seconds, right? Yeah. Make so I would say something like, here's how, what you, what you want to do is like, this is it. So, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is the reinforcement of this video is for this, right? So here's how you make 200 bucks a day with affiliate marketing is what I would do for like my intro. And it's, it's fast. Like, you got to You got to rattle it off quick. It. I'll be honest. Right. Sometimes I'll sit there and uh, I use this. Uh, I got to pull it up now. What is this? It's called. It's, uh, so rapid tables is just a browser based uh, text thing that I use. It's, it's basically an online uh, notepad. Uh huh. Rapid yeah, so tables. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So what I just use is like the uh, the. Uh, I got it pulled up on my screen. Okay, yeah. So like the PDF, I don't even know which one that is. Uh, just the notes. Yeah, tools notepad is what I use. Where is that at? Tools notepad of mine. Text uh, maybe, tools? Maybe on text tools, yeah. I have mine. <laughs> uh, hot bar. Okay, word counter character. What's the wh – how are you – how are you – what are you using it for? I just it's, – it's just a text thing that I just pull up. So you could use like notepad or anything like that. I got you. Yeah, it's it's literally just a web uh, web braced, uh, okay, based notepad. I got you. So it's just a notepad that you're writing. Yeah. You're, kind of, you're you're kind of scripting your video, right? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll pull that up, and and what I do with that is like I could just copy and stuff from the web. That's that's all it does is it just makes things a little bit easier. Um, okay. So let's continue with this thought though, because I I like this example and I think this will be valuable for people. So. Yeah. So here's how to make $200 a day with affiliate marketing, right? It's kind of rambled it off real quick. Now, what would be an example of the, of, of the, uh, of overcoming the objection? Yeah. So that's, that comes down to, um, understanding your audience a little bit, 
what are their objections, all right? So you do have to know your audience a little bit. You can't just throw this stuff out there and expect. Okay, well, let's go with the make money online niche. So here's yeah. how to make $200 a day with affiliate marketing. So they're, they're like, they think that's a scam. They think it's not real. They think, you MLM know. MLM is the biggest, uh, the, the biggest thing people think is they have to invest a bunch of money and it's potentially MLM. Okay. So those so, are the two big things you're going to be dealing with. Okay, so let's make an object. Let's over. Let's make the objection script for both of those things. So, uh, obviously, you wouldn't use both on a fifteen-second video, but so they're gonna have. So, uh, what would you say to tell somebody it's not going to be a lot of money? I'd just say this doesn't cost anything. Well, like this, it costs zero dollars. Like literally, just doesn't cost anything. There's no risk. Um, okay. you might, so and you I'll might just do it, like, and, might do it like, and this costs zero dollars, right? Just to kind of add a little bit of entertainment to it. And this costs zero dollars. Yep. And everything that I do, like I'm adding like transitions and like all yeah. the stuff that I do is just moving my phone. So as you're saying this stuff, you want to be letting off of like the record button and the pressing because you want to keep that like motion up as well for engagement. All yeah, right. that's sure. pattern, pattern interrupt theory. So. Yeah, and, and we can go look at one of your videos. I mean, um, I noticed that when I looked at a couple of them real quick. But so here's the script. Here's how to make $200 a day with affiliate marketing. And yep. this costs $0. Yep. Here's yep. how to make $200 a day with affiliate marketing. And no, it's not MLM, right? Exactly. And then boom. So there's how to get into the video quickly. And you're so right about this, bro, because this is such a big deal because people waste this, this hook and this overcoming the objection at the beginning. People waste so much time that there's no way they could even make a, a viral video uh, in 15 seconds that gets pe a lot of people to watch the majority of people to watch the entire video because mm -hmm. What 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 actually they end up doing just as a as they 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 stretch they stretch this uh, they stretch this you know this part out right here right yep. and then this part out right here and it's and it ends up being like there's no you you actually can't even create an effective fifteen second video right yeah eight it's, seconds it's, in you're still out. explaining why they should watch yeah right right yeah. and it's like where this where this formula right here um, is dude this is like in in you you breaking down and showing us in a scripting uh, you know this out for people and kind of even demonstrating how you can say things really really quickly is, mm -hmm. is really powerful I, I would assume the comments are blowing up and and you guys are, are <laughs> loving this uh, let's all let's all thank Nathan in the comments for being so willing and open to, I mean, this is stuff that dude, people are, I get, I get paid decently well for my consulting. Right. Yeah. Uh, totally, bro. Totally. <laughs> this right here is going to be 90% of anybody's problem that I talk to. Mm. So 90% of anybody watching this, this is, this is what I do. I just, I will literally spend an hour writing a 15 second script, trying to figure out what can I say every one to two seconds to keep the engagement up and to keep things flowing? Totally, that's, dude. That's it. That is that is my my secret sauce is take the take time to study and create that video before you even pick up your phone to to actually do it. I, I love it, dude. I love it. You know, it's it's you know, I think we gotta think, and I've said this before, man, and I, I think it's appropriate to say it now again. It's like we gotta think of ourselves, man, as 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 a media company. And there's absolutely no way that mm -hmm. you would that you would just go live on air on TV and and you would just you would just wing it, man. <laughs> there's no way dude it's right. it's that that doesn't exist like you'd get fired nobody would watch your show because it, it's so, like what we're doing right now is different this is a long form content yeah. thing that people yeah. know that when you go live you're going to be riffing it's going to take a long time and they're in it for the long haul but you have to understand how the platform works. And TikTok is not that unless you're doing lives, mm -hmm. right? If you're doing lives, maybe it's a different vibe, but the, doing lives is not how you're gonna blow up your channel. Like you're gonna blow up your channel by creating, by, by creating videos that go viral, that get you tons of followers. 
And then when you go live, you're going to uh, be able to spend time and build rapport with those followers. Would you agree with that? Or is there anything you would add to that? Yeah, no. So I would just say that this this whole concept right here is the, the, the I guess, like I said earlier, the, the secret sauce to success with content is having a idea of what the heck you're doing in the first place like that's mm -hmm. <laughs> to add to what you're saying basically i'm just going to go back and say like you got to understand why you're creating that content in the first place what is your end goal because it all goes back to the hook right yeah. and then are you are you okay so i'm going to go to a little bit of a i'm going to add to it with a little bit of a personal touch sure if, if you are just doing this stuff to make money you're in the wrong mindset and and everybody will say that like no matter what you're doing, if you're just trying to make money, you won't make money and your content's going to probably suck just flat out. Yeah. And, and the reason is because you're not valuing like so with TikTok, if you have one good video that explains something, you could literally reach millions of people in 24 hours. Yeah. What in the world would those people? Why? Why should they watch your video? Yeah. Like. That's, that's, that's the honest truth. And, and if you're scared, like, holy crap, I don't want that many people watching my video, that mindset, your brain is going to literally pull back on your reins and keep you from creating something that could potentially go viral. But the yeah. whole point of TikTok is building that audience, building that traffic, getting people to see, Hey, this guy's got something of value and I'm going to go click his profile. And then if you pull up my profile really quick, so somebody watches one of my videos, right? And then they click on to, because it, it makes it really easy, right? If you look at my profile, hey, what do I have? First thing I want people to do, I'm personally trying to grow my YouTube channel, which by the way, I've grown my YouTube channel. Uh, I was stuck at 522 followers because I just, I, I didn't create content. I didn't do anything, right? Um, I, I basically left it. When I started taking on YouTube clients, I ignored my own channel. And that's one of my biggest like regrets is not continuing <laughs> on my yeah. own YouTube channel. But so for two years, it basically sat at 522 subscribers, right? And then when I, I did that, I put, hey, sub to my YouTube. And then in one video, I said, hey, here's a content, uh, uh, here's a strategy I'm going to talk about, or even just like a concept of passive income. I made one video, put it up on my YouTube, and then linked to it in my TikTok. And now, just like uh, a few weeks later, since I did that, I'm almost to like 32, yeah, 3,200 in like a month yeah. and, I, and I've created one video and see that like 62,000 views. So just, just by creating one video on TikTok and one video on YouTube, 6,200 views, just yeah, 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 62,000, but yeah, just for, just for, uh, oh, uh yeah, yeah. clarity. Yeah. Right here. You talking about this one? Yeah. 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 No, yes. I see it, dude. You've had one video, right? It's like all these other yeah. one year ago and this one's one month ago. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So one month ago, I put that up. And I mean, yeah, one year ago is when I was like, hey, I'm going to teach people because I, I would do the Facebook thing, you know, like uh, Facebook organic marketing and stuff like that. And I talk about software and stuff like that. And if you look at my content, I was going to talk about like going into the entrepreneurial mindset. So you, there's three years ago. That's when I really started getting into the baby uh, phase. That's the baby phase. Yeah. Uh, that is pre. Um, me teaching anything that I do. This is where I was starting to say, Hey, I'm going to start talking about and get into the actual, like selling affiliate marketing instead of software. Because that's pretty beard, that's pretty beard life too. That is, that is, that is a uh, active duty life. So <laughs> I was, I was about 30 pounds lighter and, uh, didn't have my beard, <laughs> but you know, when you, now when you, you get out, go ahead, now you become a man with the beard and yeah. the extra weight, bro. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Get how out. Do you know, how do you know back in the olden days, man, they, they, you know, ancient times, they used to know that a man was very successful by how big his belly was. Yeah. 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 If you had money, you had good food, lots of good food. Yep. But, uh, I mean, breaking your back kind of does one thing for you as well. So without a doubt, man. Yeah. And nerve damage sucks. I don't recommend doing it. Well, it's, uh, I, I'm, 
I'm feeling pain <laughs> just thinking about it, bro. Yeah, yeah. no, it's. It, I mean, now it's like it's manageable. It's fine. It's not like I'm popping morphine every day, but right, right. <laughs> that's the other like that's the other uh, kind of danger is getting hooked on pain pills, right? So that's yeah. another uh, show, I think. But I'm just glad you're 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 well and you're you know you're okay and you've you've come back from it. Yeah, actually. Uh, so here's a little bit of encouragement to people watching this um because of my back injury and because i learned web design i learned marketing i learned email marketing right so i was trying to get away from my heavy prescription meds because i was taking some heavy stuff really consistently right and it was really bad understandable yeah yeah, the military is just like here's all the meds you'll ever want for the rest of your life come back in a month if you want more right right Um, right so uh anyways i ended up getting into cbd and that got me off of my heavy pain meds. Nice. So, so I was like, hey, this is really cool. And there's like a local producer and stuff like that. So uh, anyways, I contacted them. And within six months, I built a website. I started a business. I, I bought like a bunch of product. And they they run our production now. And I, me and my oldest sister and my oldest brother, we own a CBD company now. And because of my education, I was able to do that. Yeah. No, I mean... I don't think people really realize how transferable these skills are, man. And, you know, and I think that's one of the things like you said a second ago, you were like, don't just try to make money. And I mean, I just, I want to address the objection, right? Yeah. People are thinking easy for you to say, dude, because you're sitting at home, you're, (laughs) you're, you're chilling, you're making money, but I'm out here, you know, uh, kind of sneak it around to even watch this at my job that I hate barely getting by. And yeah. And, and so like, I get that and I totally understand that and have been there too. However, the skills that you're learning on the side in your spare time or in your work time, whatever, yeah. whenever you're learning them, it's none of our business um, yeah. <laughs> are, are skills that, are going to benefit you and your loved ones and your businesses for years to come. And it, and it may not come fast. Like, like, like you said, it may be three years before the first dollar. I hope not. That's I, very I, I, I hope not. Yeah. That, that's I, very I, like, you know I, what? And I want to be even more, I want to be even more ruthlessly honest. The average person who starts any business online, who buys any how to products gets no results. Mm hmm. Want to know why? Because the average person who starts any diet, who who goes has a gym membership, who who gets little to no results. Why? Because it's human nature. We 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 want instant gratification. We, and you know what? Here's the secret. That's why it's so easy to succeed, because the competition is actually so low, and most people think that the competition is high. Oh, it's so saturated. But let me tell you something. If there was, (laughs) if that was true, there'd be no room to blow up in 90 days. No, there wouldn't. No, but, but the majority, the large, vast, dramatic majority of people are just consuming content. They're not on TikTok or YouTube to, to, they're not creating, they're consuming. That's what these platforms are for. Right. Yeah. Just like the, the majority of people who watch TV are consuming the small minority are behind the camera and it's part of their business to broadcast the, the, the content. So, you know, be celebrate the fact you guys should all celebrate the fact that the majority of people get no results because they do nothing with the information. Celebrate that, get excited about that. Realize that you can use that to your advantage because is all you have to do is apply a little bit of effort and actually use this shit, put it into to action. And, and of course, like we're sitting here just today, this, this, like this, what you, what you shared with us, man, like just this alone, You've given us a basically a yeah. blueprint. You've given us the the formula, the the thing that you consult for thousands of dollars for clients to go in and, and and look at their stuff. You you've get so I mean the information is there, but you you know what? Um, you you just got to use it, guys, and you can 
uh, you know, you can you can develop these skills and they can benefit you for years to come. And I, I don't know, I, I ranted there for a moment, but it just oh, was good. your story good. about the CBD and launching that company, like getting like getting away from pain meds and then using CBD and then and then launching a business with the skills that you learned here in your in, in your internet marketing journey mm-hmm. is just it's just inspiring and it's just it's such it's evidence how powerful and how much opportunity there is when you learn these skills and and your your sort of your vision opens up and you start seeing opportunity differently yeah. than just seeing obstacles i think that right there with what you just said um your vision opens up that right there is probably the biggest thing cuz most people they're they're trained to do this right like this is your schedule for school you get out of school this is your your work schedule this is your cubby like this is your office this is your work this is your tasks and everything is just laid out for you right but when you come into the entrepreneurial world and it's like hey you can do anything you want have at it you really you're just kind of like lost for words on which way to go like all this different stuff um just pick one thing Go find people who are already doing it and model them. Just model them. Take notes on everything that they do. If you can contact them, try. Like put out an effort to contact them and just say, hey, this is what I'm doing. Like, hey, what do you do on the back end? Like, how can I get into the back end? Can I buy something from you? Can I pay you? Um, and that's that's what I did is I just started like reaching out to people and started literally dissecting everything that I could see from people that were already being successful doing what I wanted to do. And that's, that's how I got my path was you're going about things like so different than most people, bro. You, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, like, (laughs) like most people hear you say, contact them and they're going to go and they're going to hit them up in messenger or something. And they're going to, they're going to, it's, they're, they're going to make it all about them. How can you help me? You know, as if you don't have anything else to do. Um, I, I, I told, uh, I shared, I don't remember where it was. Maybe it was a live. I do so much, uh, content and stuff that I, I don't remember where I said this, but it was all about how to contact somebody mm-hmm. and, yeah. and how to approach people, you know, in, in, in basically making it easy for them to respond like, Hey, like, I really love what you're doing. I'm really learning a lot from you. If there's an opportunity for me to pay you for a, a, a 15 minutes or a half hour of your time, I'd love to do that. Or at least tell me what the price is. And if I can afford it, I'll do it. But I had a quick question for you and I wanted to ask you concisely and then even, even give you a, B and C, uh, as, as possible scenarios that I'm thinking might be the best, might be the best answer to my question. So now, and, 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 and so now you're doing the thinking instead of trying to put the thinking off on yeah. somebody else, right. And yeah. make them do the work. And then if they're gracious enough, which nobody owes you a response, that's the first thing. Nobody yeah. owes you a response. Yeah. But if they're gracious enough yeah. and they have time to respond, then then y- y- you owe it to yourself and you owe it to them to then go and take action on what they told you and then to follow back up and say, I used what you told me and here's what happened. It mm-hmm. didn't work but I wanted to thank you because you were, or it did work and I wanted to thank you. Right. There's, there's a big difference between just being a taker and just always approaching people thinking about what's in it for me, which is an adolescent mindset. I saw my four year old, like one of our friends sent us these bracelets last night. There you go. Christmas, just a, like a little thing. One of our, one of our friends, uh, kids made these for us. And, like my daughter broke hers. And so I opened mine when I got home from work and I put it on my wrist. And then my daughter had a meltdown and made it all about her in terms of the fact that she broke her necklace. Totally normal for a four year old to do. Totally okay. normal. Four year olds, t- you know, kids make every situation about them. Uh-huh. Adults. But adults, especially leaders, if you want to get somewhere in life, you have to make every situation about others. Right. And, and how you approach somebody, making it about them, making it easy, think, doing the thinking for them instead of trying to just take is, is a big deal. Anyways, yeah. I, I'm ranting again, but what comes up for you as, as, as I say that? Is, that? is that in line with your thinking? Yeah, absolutely. So I was just trying to like quickly say like, hey, just reach out to somebody. Um, yeah, that's, 
that's a whole other video topic that you should probably it is. do for people. It is. Like it is, and I wanted to just try to save some some leaders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because it's it, we gotta we gotta train ourselves how to approach people, especially in this entrepreneurial world. Because people operate differently, man. You show up in their inbox like a taker, and you're probably not going to get a response. Yeah, I have a lot of ignored messages or deleted messages in Facebook because, yeah. people, or even Instagram, people will see me on TikTok. Like I get like hundreds of people like asking me like, oh hey, how can I do this? Like can I do this? Or can you can you do this? Or hey help me fix my TikTok, and i'll like message right. them back and be like okay what do you need help with and they're like i need you to write my content or i need you to like grade my entire thing right audit my TikTok and fix my problem and i'm like no <laughs> yeah like, <it's> like <laughs> the entitlement bro the entitlement yeah. is crazy as yeah. if i've worked my ass off for 10 years to get where i'm at to just do the work for somebody who's not willing to help themselves. It's crazy. I love people. Like we go live every day, we put out tons of content, but it's like the entitlement is 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 sort of maddening. The other thing I wanted to point out and then we'll bring this conversation in for a landing because I'm sure you're busy and I'm sure you've got things to do as do I. Uh, and, and I I'm super grateful for your time and super just pumped to have had this conversation. Um, yeah. but I wanted to point out one thing that you said about 45 minutes ago, which was I went through a course, which you bought for a dollar from, yeah. our, from our, from our company. And you said, well, it, it, it did. I went through it and if I followed it step by step, I wouldn't have gotten results. I had to actually do some thinking. Funny I had how that to works, actually right? adjust and test yeah. and tweak. And, and I don't think that's what you said word for word. Concept because it gave you a framework. It gave you a starting place. It did a lot of the thinking for you. But you took responsibility, which is the opposite of what I've seen over the past 10 years with people who struggle and fail, which is, you know, I paid a dollar for something or I paid a couple of thousand dollars for something and it didn't do all the thinking for me. I actually have to think and I have to test and try and make an effort and I'm pissed off about that. But your your approach is I'm buying something, I'm investing in something because it can it can give me a tip, it can give me a nugget, it can give me an angle, it can get the juices flowing, it can tell me sort of where to start. I just thought that was so. I just thought that was worth pointing out. And if you wanted to say any more about that, if not, that's totally fine too. But I just thought that was just such a success secret that I wanted to bring back up. Yeah. So I think I've only ever returned, and I've spent like, I mean, people have spent tens of thousands of dollars. I think over the last nine years, I've spent maybe twenty thousand dollars in self education and buying courses. Right. You know, anywhere from a dollar, literally. That so that dollar course. When I buy a course, I don't think like this course is it. This is the one that's going to change my life. It could potentially, honestly, or this consulting is the one consultant that is going to change my life. Whatever the price is, I say I am paying this price for the nuggets that I can use in my overall life experience, my education of everything I'm working towards. So when I paid that dollar, man, I'll tell you what, that, that dollar course for TikTok was one of the best dollars I ever spent. But if I would have just spent that dollar thinking this course is going to make me successful, that's that's not a good mindset. So when you when you buy something out of the twenty thousand dollars I've invested in, um, which for some that's a jokeable number, for some that's an un unbelievable number, right? And it's it's all perspective, and we'll, we'll perspective is a huge thing you could talk about later. But uh, so when you buy something, just think what can I get out of this, and appreciate it for that. Don't think that this is going to be everything and it could be. I hope it is. And with a lot of the stuff on Legendary Marketer, it is, right? I've only ever returned one course um, just because it was a huge price for a extremely <laughs> overvalued uh, system, right? And I was really upset about the, the person selling that, right? And other than that, I wouldn't ever suggest refunding because everything you ever buy is going to help you at some point in your journey. Yeah. So that's And that's that's probably the biggest thing. And, and it's also, um, I, lo I love that and I, sh I don't need to add anything to it, but I will also just add that I really believe in business karma. And I believe that the way that I treat the people that I do business with 
is 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 how I'm going to be treated. And so, it, you know, in terms of how I always strive to be the best client possible, like I actually pride myself and make an extra effort to be an easy client, to be the best client that people have ever worked with, whether it's my therapist, whether it's my chiropractor, whether it's a coach, a, a, whatever it is, I strive to be my financial planner, you know, like the person who helps me to invest, I strive i figure out how can i make their job easier because that's going to make them more excited to want to work with me and to want to help me and and i think it's just you know once again we go back to that what's in it for somebody else not just always being in a selfish uh, mindset and it just is it's it's leadership it's really the edge but dude um i this has been <laughs> way over over what any of us expected thank you for um being so willing to share uh i hope you'll come back and continue to do it but i'll understand if you don't want to because basically you just came on and spilled the beans and really yeah. brought, you know everything yeah. that you're doing that's helped you to kind of blow up and it's just been fan it's been gold as as we've got some comments coming through it's just been absolute gold and i appreciate it brother Absolutely. That goes back to what you said earlier. I mean, I can spill the beans, but how many of you are actually going to use it? Yeah. So use it. It works. Be safe. Be well. Stay legendary, brother. Yeah, you as well. Thanks yeah. for having me. Bye. All right, my friends. Uh, Nathan Earl. I've shared his his uh, site with all of you guys. You can look him up on TikTok and, and just go go follow his uh, his his profile. I'll put it on one more time for those of you who are just coming on. Uh, you you can not only take what he shared today in terms of this this uh, formula, this hook formula that I think is brilliant, uh, but also his uh, his TikTok profile. Uh, just look him up, Nathan Earl. There he is. Um, and then this is his YouTube channel, uh, which is also Nathan Earl. Uh, as I called him before we actually went live um, in in the in the confines and privacy behind the scenes, I called him a stud muffin, and uh, he has proven to uh, be worthy of that title. We'll be back here tomorrow uh, for Wake Up Legendary once again, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. As you can see, highly valuable stuff, but that's only because. Uh, we have such incredible people in this community who are willing to come on and be so gracious with their time. And we are super grateful for that. So meet us back here uh, tomorrow. We'll see you then. Get the hell out of here. Go change the world. Be legendary. Talk to you later. Bye.